September. Uh, trapping season's right around the corner. Uh, I got a whole batch of new traps. I need to get those cleaned and uh, prepped for the trapping season. And uh, I'm going to show you how to boil off some traps today. Now, basically, all I'm using is an old turkey deep fryer burner. Got my tank of propane. Got a big old pot here, which I'm going to fill up about halfway with water, deep enough that I can submerge a pretty good sized batch of traps. Uh, got myself a lid to cover up with. Now, when we, when we do this boil off here, we're just going to go ahead and use nothing but water to boil it off. Some guys will use lye, some guys will use drain cleaner or degreasers, and those will all work, but they're dangerous. Anything, any chemical like that in hot boiling water, you have the potential to uh, burn yourself. So we're just going to go ahead and do a boil off with just straight water, and we're going to boil the traps for, you know, approximately 20 minutes, half an hour, and uh, all the uh, oil will come off of the metal and float to the top. And then I'll show you how to uh, skim that oil off of the top of the water before you go ahead and remove your traps. Okay, uh, let's get started. Okay, one thing you're going to want to do uh, before you boil your traps is I use a uh, finishing nail, and I'm going to put that finishing nail in between my jaws so that uh, when you boil it, everything gets, every bit of grease is removed or oil. That's good enough. I do that for every trap. What you're going to want to do for trap preparation, get yourself a spool of wire, a pair of side cutters, and you want to uh, bind all your traps together. So I just do the swivel, right at the swivels, and then uh, I make a loop and just wrap them up. That way you can lower the whole group of traps into the pot all at one time, and they're easier to remove. That way you can pull them up out of the water, and then you can just hang them using this piece of wire. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's the traps that I'm going to be uh, prepping today. I got some Bridger dog proofs. I got some Bridger number ones. Here's my coil springs. I got some one and a halfs. I got some one and three quarters. And I got some beaver traps that I'm going to use this year. Uh, what do we got here? Number five. We got a 502 special. We got a Bridger number three and a couple Connie bears. Uh, these are the traps that I have prepped. I have the, uh, as you can see, I already have nails in them, spread in the jaws. I have them wrapped together with a piece of wire to lower them down into the pot. Uh, we're ready to get started. wire over the side so I can lift them out. Grab another batch of traps here. Traps have been boiling for just about a half an hour, a good roaring boil. That should be enough to uh, lift the oil film off of the traps. And I'm going to go ahead and kill my heat here. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove that oil film off the top of the water so that you don't drag your traps up, out, back through that oil and recoat them. I'll get the fire off here. lid off. Now what 
you want to do, you can see the nice rainbow colored film on there. You're going to get your pot and you're going to sit it on a brick so that it's tilted. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a bucket of water and you're going to pour it into the back side of the pot so that as the water level rises, that oil is floating on top. It's going to roll off into my shale. Let me show you how we're going to do that. all that oil film is just rising to the top. As I add the water, it rolls off. Okay, and these traps are ready to pull out. Be nice and clean. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these straps and uh, I'm going to hang them and I'm going to hang them outside for several days until they start to get a nice light coating of rust on them. And then uh, once I get a light coating of rust on them, then I'll uh, we'll dye them. And uh, that'll be included in this video also. Let me get these hung. Okay, as you can see, I got my traps hung. Just hanging them from the wife's gazebo thing here. And if you look at the traps, uh, you can see all that oily film is gone. And they're a lot shinier now. Uh, you can see I got my nail in there. The jaws got done on the inside. All the, all the oil residue is off. Okay, we got round two. Okay, here's all the traps. Nice and shiny clean. No more residue left on them. Got them hanging. And like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to let these hang until they get a little bit of a little bit of rust started on them. They don't have to be totally rusty. Just get a little rust on them. That'll give us something for the dye to stick to. Now the next time, uh, next time we talk here. We'll be setting up the pot and getting ready to die. Okay, the uh, traps that I put out, they've been out for about a week, and they're starting to get a light coating of rust on them. Uh, I'd like them to be a little bit, have a little bit more rust on them than what's on them now, but I'm running out of time. Archery season starts here in a couple of days, and I'm not going to have time to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and dye my traps anyway. Uh, what you're going to need in your pot is uh, about five to six gallon of water. I already got a little bit of water in there. Now, what I'm going to be using for dyeing my traps is some logwood trap dye. And you can get this at any trapper supply. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to add one bag to about five or six gallons of water. And uh, we're going to bring this to a boil, and we're going to knock the heat back so that it simmers, and then I'm going to go ahead and stir this dye in. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the water started to heat up. Okay, now, our pot of water I brought to a boil, and now I just cut the heat back. It's just now simmering. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my trap dye, and then I'm going to go ahead and mix it up until it's completely dissolved. Uh, once it's completely dissolved, all I'm going to do is dump my traps in, and we're going to let them simmer for about an hour. Now, anytime you're working with uh, any of these trap dyes, you're going to want to use rubber gloves and stuff when you go take the traps out, because this stuff stains. OK. 
Okay, now that's one bag of logwood trap dye for about five or six gallons of water. <laughs> Again, I'm just going to lower the submerged just completely under the water. So I'm just going to bend this wire over so it stays. That's it. I'll load the rest of my traps up in this pot and uh, we'll let them simmer for about an hour. Now it's been almost about an hour and uh, my traps are just about died. They look pretty good. We'll be. Uh, Pulling them out here in about 10 minutes or so. Okay, the traps have been in for about an hour. Look like they took some dye. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Uh, I'm just going to hang them on my fence. I'm going to let them dry real well. And uh, then they'll be ready to uh, use, or ready to wax if you want to wax them first. Um, that's it. That's how you uh, prep your traps for trapping season.